As of January 2021, there are more than 500 unicorn startups around the world and Canada is home to three of them. Hey guys, I'm Jayesh and you're watching Hustle TV. In this video, we will see unicorn startups in Canada. Before we go through the list, a quick fact. In contrast to unicorns, Canada calls it companies with a valuation of a billion Canadian dollars a narwhal. Correct me in the comments section if I am mispronouncing it. Narwhals are whales distinguished by their long straight tusk. Unlike unicorns, they do exist but are rare. Some people have begun calling Canadian companies that have the potential to become unicorns narwhals as well. But the definition of narwhal when it was first coined was a private company valued over a billion Canadian dollars. With that being said, here's the list. At number 1, we have Apply Board. Apply Board is a student application platform that simplifies the study abroad search, application and acceptance process by connecting international students, recruitment partners and academic institutions on one platform. It was founded by Iranian immigrant brothers Martin, Meti and Masih Basiri in 2015. The motivation to start Apply Board came from their own struggle. The eldest of the three brothers, Martin, was looking for a master's program outside of Iran. He chose Canada for that. After doing extensive research for the best possible program, Martin applied for mechatronics, robotics and automation engineering at the University of Waterloo in 2010. What he didn't realize was how long it would take to arrive at the university and begin his studies. Despite receiving a scholarship offer, Martin faced a range of obstacles from paperwork and academic grade conversion to securing admission and a student visa. The process was never ending. By the time his application was approved and he was enrolled into courses, it had been roughly one year. Needless to say, it was a very frustrating and lengthy process, one which may cause many foreign students to quit their application and forget the thought of starting abroad. But when his younger brothers, Meti and Masi, felt it was the right time to begin their education abroad, Martin lent his assistance and as he was already well versed with the process, the entire application time was reduced to just a couple of months. Many families in Iran learned about their experience and sought their expertise in helping their children study internationally. Word spread like rapid fire and eventually, what began as a hobby turned into a small business. Today, Apply Board has grown to become the world's largest online platform for international student recruitment, assisting more than 120,000 students with their educational journeys. In 2019, Apply Board was named the fastest growing technology company in Canada by Deloitte, ranking number one on the Technology Fast 50 list. As of 2021, Apply Board has raised a total of 242 Canadian dollars in funding and is roughly valued at 2 billion Canadian dollars. At number 2, we have Covio. Covio is a Quebec City based enterprise software as a service company that offers a cloud based platform for making digital experiences more intelligent and provides specific software builds on that platform. Covio Solutions was founded in 2005 as a spin off of Copernic Technologies by Laurent Simonet, Richard Tessier, and Mark Sanfacon. Covio basically makes every customer's experience on your website, application, or any other platform relevant and useful. It helps quickly connect customers to answers and gathers useful insights. For example, Covio can help you generate more sales on your e-commerce platform by helping customers find what they want easily and quickly. It uses AI and machine learning capabilities to deliver intuitive search, relevant recommendation, and behavior-based personalization for every part of shopper's journey. Covio can also help you with your chatbot. It can make your chatbot more dependable by feeding it information from customers' previous interactions on other channels. In April of 2018, Covio received $100 million of funding from Evergreen Coast Capital. The next year in November, Covio raised another round of funding for $227 million Canadian dollars led by OMERS Private Equity, yielding a valuation of $1.1 billion thus becoming a unicorn. Some of Covio's famous customers include L'Oreal, Lockheed Martin, Bombardier, CAE, Yum's Brand, Gecko, and SunGuard. And at number 3, we have Point Click Care. Point Click Care is a software as a service company which offers web-based products and services uniquely designed to help long-term care providers manage the complete life cycle of their customers. It seamlessly integrates clinical, billing, and administrative processes to maximize reimbursements, enhance quality of care, improve operating efficiencies, and increase staff productivity and satisfaction. It was started by brothers 
Dave and Mike Wessinger in 1995 when selling software as a service wasn't even heard of. The inspiration to start the company came from their own life. Both the brothers used to work in the nursing home and long-term care sector. There they noticed that as technology soared at the turn of the millennium, the long-term care industry stayed stubbornly in the past. People would actually print out documents, amend them and add notes with a pencil by hand and stick them in a file folder somewhere. Mike, now co-founder and CEO of Point Click Care says, it was an inefficient system rife with human errors. We knew the market was very underserved, hence they started Point Click Care. Initially, they started serving Canada. But as people were receptive to technology adoption back in the early 2000s and were not ready to pay top dollars for their product, the only way for them to be viable was to bring volume into play. Hence in 2002, they expanded to USA whose healthcare sector was approximately 20 times the size of Canada. Today Point Click Care is the market leader in North America and it is used by 75% of providers across nearly 17,000 facilities. So far, Point Click Care has raised a total of 297 million Canadian dollars in over three rounds of funding, and this has valued the company at $4 billion. In doing my research for the video, I found companies like Hootsuit, Wealthsimple, being called unicorns, but I couldn't find credible resources to put them in the list. Also, the most famous unicorn startup coming out of Canadian startup ecosystem is the e-commerce platform provider Shopify, but it IPO'd in 2015, hence I have not included it in the list. So that's it for today guys, if you like this video then please give it a thumbs up, if you are new here then please consider subscribing to our channel and do watch out our other videos. If you like this video then do check out our playlist on unicorn startups around the world, it will be on the screen right now, go ahead and click it and watch it. Thank you for watching, bye.